everyone! Today we're going to be making butternut squash mac and cheese. Yes, you heard that right. But if you don't tell anyone, they'd probably never know. We had some leftovers from our previous videos and decided to combine them together. This might not seem like it'll work, but it does. Let's get started! First, we're going to prep the leftover squash from our butternut squash fries video. Once this seeded and cut into small chunks, roast them at 190 degrees Celsius or 375 Fahrenheit until they're tender. And apparently they shrink quite a bit. Set them aside and allow them to cool before blending. Or it might overheat the blender and you'll just have to wait anyways. Once cooled off a bit, add the squash to the blender. Then keep adding splashes of milk until you get a flowy consistency that looks like a sauce. We use about 1 cup of milk, but it will vary depending on your squash. Just don't add too too much. If it turns out too runny, don't panic. Just reduce it in the pot. Next, we're going to boil 6 ounces of dry pasta and while it cooks, we'll grate cheese. We're using 300 grams of squash puree, so we're going to add 50 grams of white cheddar and 25 grams of pecorino, leftover from our carbonara video. Move to the stove. Bring the squash puree to a boil, then turn off the heat and add in the cheese little by little, continually stirring and making sure to stir everywhere so no clumps of cheese are hiding. Once all the cheese is in and the pasta is cooked and drained, time to mix. Add the pasta to a big bowl then add the sauce and mix. We mixed it in a bowl because we thought we had too much cheese sauce but it was perfect so feel free to just mix it in a pot and save some time on cleanup. And here we have our butternut squash mac and cheese. The pasta may have come from a blue box but the flavor is anything but. The squash puree adds the perfect creamy texture and if you didn't know you'd probably never even guess there was squash. A delicious and simple way to use up some leftovers. Feel free to use your favorite melting cheese or a high quality cheese powder and let us know what you think. Like, subscribe and stay tuned to see what will we cook next.